Welcome to this steps-by-step -step interactive video tutorial on how to install Real Vision ENB. The first thing that we need to do is head on over to the official Real Vision Nexus page. Nexusmods.com slash Skyrim slash mods slash 30936. Then from the main description page, scroll down until you reach the section Install Real Vision. Next, we are going to download the appropriate ENB binary that corresponds with this version of Real Vision. Select the EMB series archive link here, which will bring us to Skyrim Tuner's personal ENB archive for Skyrim. Then download the ENB specified by Skyrim Tuner here, and take note that at least as of the time of creating this video, Real Vision does not use the most recent binary available to us. As Real Vision uses .262, we can see that .264 is available, but at least for now, it is not recommended to use with Real Vision. Choose a convenient location to download the archive to, as we will be using it in the next step. Then select Save. Now from the desktop, you are going to want to open two windows. The first window, here on the right, we will open the Skyrim folder. The best place to have installed Skyrim is in the Steam folder, but outside of the Program Files folders. I will provide a link here to show you what I mean. Navigate to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then choose the Skyrim folder. In the second window, here on the left, is the location that I downloaded the EMB binary to. Go ahead and open up the archive. A video on how to install archives will be provided here. From the archive, select the wrapper version, and then select these two files, the d3d9.dll file and the ENB host executable. If you do not see the file extensions on your computer, watch this video here on how to reveal them. Now drag both of those files and drop them into the Skyrim folder. Next, we will head back over to the Real Vision Nexus page. Look down to the left and open up the File section. Then scroll down and locate the most recent version of the Auto Installer file, usually the top file within the Main File section. Then select the Download with Manager button. When the download has finished, you can close out your web browser as it will no longer be needed. Now open up the Mod Organizer window, and on the right pane, select the Downloads tab, and at the very bottom, you will find the Real Vision ENB mod. If you do not see the mod, watch this video here to learn how to link Mod Organizer to Nexus. Double-click the Real Vision mod to extract its files and begin the installation. When the Real Vision FOMOD window opens, you will have some installation options to choose from. For this version, we can choose either the full or the performance editions compatible with either realistic lighting overhaul or enhanced lights and effects. Choose the full option for stronger systems, usually but not always limited to 2 gigs of VRAM or more. If you have less RAM or massive amounts of mods, you may want to choose the Performance Edition. Make your selection and choose Next. Step 2. Select the type of sun that you want to see in-game. Realistic Sun Normal is the recommended choice, and I will choose it. Then in Step 3, select any additional effects that you want to use, and if you have ever used an older version of Real Vision, the Fantasy Effect option used to be Option C, which I will also choose. And finally, select your depth of field preference. I personally always disable DOF, regardless of which EMB I am using. YouTube viewers usually don't like the blur, and without it, you will gain back a few frames per second. After you have chosen, select the next button. And in the final window, read the instructions and select install. Now back in Mod Organizer, scroll down to the bottom of the left pane window and then locate and check mark the box next to the Real Vision ENB mod. Now we want to navigate to the Real Vision mod folder, and the folder is located within the Mod Organizer folder. 
If you have been following our Mod Organizer series, the Mod Organizer folder will be located within the Skyrim folder. Otherwise, you will find it wherever you installed it to. Now open up the Mod Organizer folder, then open the Mods folder, then scroll down until you find the Real Vision ENB folder. If the mods are not in alphabetical order, click the name box above them. Now from within the Real Vision ENB folder, select the Real Vision underscore ENB underscore files folder. Next, scroll down and double click the rvlauncher.exe. If for some reason you have any issues with this executable, after you have tried everything to the end of this video, come back to this folder and run the rv uninstall.vbe. And then when that has concluded, click on the rv install.vbe, which will install Real Vision the same exact way that we are now, but by a different means, which I am told by Skyrim Tuner may solve issues for some people. Now when the Real Vision launcher window has opened, Click Install, bringing us to the same window that the rvinstall.vbe file does, which is the Real Vision Installer window. Type the letter of the drive that you have Skyrim installed on. Mine is installed on the A drive. Then select OK. If a window appears saying that Skyrim is not found, you have selected the wrong drive. If you get a message saying that the Test 5 executable is found, Click Yes to begin the installation process. From the EN Boost Configurator window, type in the amount of VRAM that you have available. If you are using SLI or Crossfire, only enter the amount of VRAM on one card. Do not add the RAM from both cards together. After you have typed in your RAM, select OK. A window will then open giving you a preview of the ENB Local Ini Memory section. Select OK, and Real Vision has been installed. Now back within the Skyrim folder, you should see that all the ENB files as well as the ENB series folder are there. And then if you open up the ENB local ini, do not feel that just because the Real Vision installer adjusted the settings based on the information you input, that you can't go ahead and change the settings. Because you can. Myself, I changed both of the windowed mode options to true to allow the recording software that I use to record the game with the EMB installed. This line should be set to false if you run a 32-bit system. The reserved memory size can be set to as low as 64 megabytes, and even with a powerful system, you may want to set it back to 256 megabytes. Change the setting and play around in game and see how things respond. The VRAM setting only needs to be 128, and people with larger cards have actually seen better performance using 2048 as their setting. If you experience stutter, try setting Enable Compression to false. Again, play around, test things out, and keep backups. And finally, the very last step. Go back into Mod Organizer, and at the top left pane window, select the puzzle icon, and then choose any editor. Select the Skyrim Prefs.ini tab. Beneath the image space section, find B do depth of field equals 1. If you want crystal clear underwater, set it to 0. And the rest of the changes will take place beneath the display section. If you do not see some of these values, first double check to make sure that you didn't miss them, and if they are not there, Add them to their own line within the display section. B float point render target equals 1. Without this setting, the EMB will not work correctly. B trees receive shadows equals 1. This allows the trees themselves to have shadows cast on them. If you don't care about that, set it to 0 to save a tiny bit of performance. B, draw land shadows, equals 1. If you are using the performance edition and get ugly landscape shadows, set it to 0. Also with the full version, you can set this to 0 and gain a few frames per second. B, shadows on grass, equals 1. 
allows shadows to be cast on grass. Setting it to zero will gain you back even more frames per second. I multi sample equals zero. This must be set to zero so that the EMB can take over. IMAX and isotropy equals zero. Also must remain at zero so the EMB can take that process over. BFXAA enabled equals zero. Again, setting this to zero allows the EMB to take this process over. Now, the I present interval equals one has always been said to be added to the Skyrim prefs.ini. You will find this setting on almost any EMB page that you find. However, it actually has no effect unless you place it in the Skyrim ini. And even then, it is not necessary, as if you make sure that the I present interval equals one line is deleted from both inis, it is automatically turned on anyways. This was discovered by the hard work of both Z and Tech Angel of Step. So by not having this line, it is actually turned on anyways. And finally, F gamma equals 1.2400. This is the in-game brightness that Real Vision is optimized for. After you set this value, do not touch the in-game brightness. We should now know how to install Real Vision ENB and configure all of the files correctly. Don't forget to play around in-game and check these settings out yourself. In-game, holding down the shift button while pushing enter will allow you to customize the ENB further. I hope that you all have found this video helpful. I am Michael of Gamer Poets. Thank you for watching.